My name is Marion Conover, and I've been asked to share with you some thoughts about the word gentleness. It's not a word that we is in our vernacular, I suspect, but it's a really good word. It's an interesting word, and I'm happy to be given a couple of texts that uh, use it in Scripture. One is in Galatians 5.22, in which it's identified as one of the characteristics of the fruit of the Spirit. And the other is an interesting text in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4, chapter 4, verse 2, where it says, Be humble and gentle, be patient and bearing one another in love. And so tonight, I've been thinking about what that means and how it applies to me. Uh, the, the idea of gentle has never really uh, been a, a concept I've thought of much as it deals with relationships. But it is uh, important to think about it as an essential part of a relationship. In this passage, it states that it is needed to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. And in Galatians 5, it's spoken of as a manifestation of the fruit of the Spirit. It's often translated in Scripture with the word meekness. Now that's a misunderstood word, but meekness is a confusing word in that a lot of people think of it as weakness, when in fact it's not. It has nothing to do with um, being humble or patient or forbearing or loving, all of which are words that show up in this particular verse. Uh, what this means to me is that it is a, a quality that has to do with being tamed or trained. It is uh, what I aspire to do is to yield my spirit and that it will not compete with the needs and cares of others. So as that r relates to relationship, I feel like we can look at this with regard to the genera uh, generosity project and know that our wills are not only to be gentle, but to obtain unity in the bond of peace. What could be accomplished for the kingdom if this were the case? If we're mindful of being yielded to one another, as well as to the Lord, what mighty things could be accomplished in His name? The word picture for gentleness or meekness is that of a wild horse who has decided to yield to the will of his rider. All of his power continues to reside inside of him, but he yields to the will of his master. His usefulness and his meaning have been amplified based on the wisdom and the will of the one he has submitted to. In that sense, he has become meek or gentle, the horse that is. What if we were to all show that kind of gentleness or meekness to each other? Uh, what if we were to show it to the Lord? What if we were to show it to the world? What great things could be accomplished in His name? In fact, uh, the word is used in the Beatitude, the third Beatitude, which is um, congratulations when you are meek or gentle, for you'll inherit the uh, earth. To do less than that, is to selfishly undermine the purpose and power of the church and to thwart the very things that God has deemed most important. On the other hand, if we all adopt a gentle spirit in an eagerness to maintain unity of the spirit, what would that mean to the generous project? What, what, would become of a, what could become a great avenue for our own personal growth our relationship bonds, and eventually, our, and ultimately, for the kingdom's expansion. May that be our goal, and may gentleness be the spirit with which it is accomplished. I'd like to pray about this as we conclude. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge our tendency to being selfish and short-sighted, and to being preoccupied with our own needs and our own agendas. So please grow us in a spirit of gentleness so as to become a more cooperative tool in your hands and to accomplish your goals, your will here on earth. 
We desire to be used and not be a hindrance or a distraction to your goals and plans. Thank you for the example of Jesus, for being uh, meek by not considering equality with God, something to be grasped, but being emptied and taking on the very nature of a servant who was obedient even unto death, even death on a cross. Lord, we aspire to that meekness, that gentleness in our own lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.